Welcome to video 189 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC Relations processor script. Alright, so make a new C -sharp script and call it Game Manager underscore NPC Relations Processor, and of course open it up at the top. So this is a long script, we've got a lot of work to do. So at the top, write using system.collections.generic. And the very first, uh, well, the only variable is private game manager underscore NPC relations master NPC relations master. There's no start and update, so I'll get rid of those. And inside of set initial references, I have NPC relations master is equal to get component game manager underscore NPC relations master. Is update NPC relations everywhere. So inside of that is NPC relations master dot call event update NPC relations everywhere. So this is the final outcome. And the next method that I'll put in is void set friendly and enemy layers. So start with if NPC relations master dot NPC relations array is null, then return. Now this NPC relations array is quite simply uh, this that we have here on the game manager NPC relations master is this one here NPC relations array that we filled in. So if it's empty, it means there's nothing more, nothing to do with this script. So continuing on, um, then for each NPC relations array, NPC array, and NPC relations master dot NPC relations array, create two temporary layer mask variables. Layer mask temp friendly. I just put TMP is equal to new layer mask. Layer mask temp enemy is equal to new layer mask. Now iterate through the NPC relation. So that bit here is like, see these four entries? That's the NPC relations that we're going to iterate through now. If NPC relation dot NPC faction rating is greater than NPC relations master dot hostile threshold, so it's a friendly, then temp friendly, then there's this uh, operator here, a logical bitwise or. One bit shift left, layer mass dot name to layer, npc relation dot npc tag, else it's not a friendly. So then temp enemy, same thing, that logical bitwise or, one bit shift left, layer mass dot name to layer, npc relation dot npc tag. Now to learn more about this operator, just do a Google search for it and you'll see MSDN documentation that could explain far better than I can. Now what is happening here is, you know, in Unity, the layer mask has like 32 entries. They're all representing bits. So for example, there are a bunch of zeros in this temp. What this will do is if, say, for example, uh, the layer of concern here is friendly and friendly happened to be the second um, entry in that layer uh, set of bits, then that'll get set to one. And as it iterates through each friendly found their place in the layer set will be set to one, that sort of a thing. And then this will be finally fed into the end, into the actual uh, layers that we want. So that's what's happening there. And so NPC, finally, NPC array dot my friendly layers is equal to temp friendly. NPC array dot my enemy layers is equal to temp enemy. So when that method is called, it would then fill in these two entries inside of here, NPC relation. All right, so next I need to void fill friendly and enemy tags. That's the next method here. If NPC relations master dot NPC relations array is null, then return. For each NPC relations array, NPC array and NPC relations master dot NPC relations array, create two temp list strings. So list of the type string temp friendly tags is equal to new list of the type string list type string temp enemy tags is equal to new list of the type string. For each NPC relations NPC relation in NPC array dot NPC relations. So again, just iterating through each of these entry entries inside of this uh, main array. If NPC relation dot NPC faction rating is greater than NPC relations master dot hostile threshold. So for that uh, particular uh, entry is if it's above a 40 figure, that means it's friendly. Then temp friendly tags dot add NPC relation dot NPC tag else temp enemy tags dot add NPC relation dot NPC tag. And finally, just fill in 
the uh, main tags, so npc array dot my friendly tags is equal to temp friendly tags dot to array. So that's how you convert a list uh, to an array. And uh, npc array dot my enemy tags is equal to temp enemy tags dot to array. And that will nicely fill in these tags here for you. So that's why you don't have to uh, do anything. But of obviously, this all has to be called by something. So we haven't gotten there yet. So before getting to the main big function, I'm going to write another obscure this. Well, this is an obscure function. And this is for bystander factions we will adjust relations with the instigator, it'll make probably a little bit more sense later. This is for observers, you'll see its usage a bit later, it is quite complicated, actually, uh, when you see its usage. So anyway, just write it void edit instigator relation with observer pass in three parameters string observing npc faction comma string instigator faction comma int relation change now go through that full npc array so for each npc relations array npc array in npc relations master dot npc relations array if npc array dot npc faction is the instigator instigator faction then for each npc relations npc relation in npc array dot npc relations if npc relation dot npc tag is the observing npc faction then npc relation dot npc faction rating plus equal relation change break get out of the loop you'll see its usage in a probably about eight ten minutes or so once we write the main method okay so time to write the main method now it's very long so let's go through it type it carefully. This is void process faction relation takes in four parameters, they match the event that this is tied to. Those four parameters are string faction affected comma string faction instigating comma int relation change comma bool apply chain effect. If npc relations master dot npc relations array is null, then return. Now the first check to do is well, there's a main for each loop. So this is the main for each loop. So just pay attention to that. The rest of the code basically sits inside of this for each loop. Now for each npc relations array, npc array and npc relations master dot npc relations array. And as you know, all that's doing is stepping through each of these four entries in the npc relations array. Now within within them, there's a whole lot of stuff to do. There's a comment here, the instigator's relation with the affected should change. If npc array dot npc faction is faction instigating, then for each npc relations, npc relation in npc array dot npc relations, if npc relation dot npc tag is faction affected, then npc relation dot npc faction rating plus equal relation change break. So for example, that hut was important to the friendlies, right? So if the player were to destroy that, the player is the instigating faction. So it will find the entry uh, for the instigating faction in here. So for example, player, it'll find the instigating faction player. So yep, it'll find player there. And inside of that, now it needs to find the affected faction. So the hut was important to uh, the friendlies, so then it's going to go through the NPC relations uh, array. Oh, well, this one, the NPC relations rather, right here, and it'll find the friendly, and it will then adjust the relation accordingly. So, whatever value gets passed in might be like a negative number, even though it's plus equal, and that'll cause the relation, for example, in this case, to drop. Okay, so that will adjust the instigator's relation with the affected. Now that's only affected uh, this part here, player. It's only changed player. Now friendly needs to be changed as well. Their relation with the player needs to be altered. So we need to write code to do that. And that's the next part here. Uh, this is all within that for each loop. So the next if statement is, uh, I've got a comment, the affected faction's relation with the instigator should change. Okay, so if npc array dot npc faction is faction affected for each npc relations npc relation in npc array dot npc relations. So basically go through those npc relations. If npc relation dot npc tag is faction instigating npc relation dot npc faction rating plus equal relation change break. So just get out of this. So all that's doing here is after setting the instigator's relation uh, with the affected, 
Now it will go through this, um, as it's going through this, it'll have found that friendly is the affected uh, faction. And now it'll go through and look for who is the instigator. So here we go, it finds that the instigator is the um, player and it will adjust the faction rating accordingly. So it'll deduct. So in the case of the hut getting destroyed, the hut will impart some negative value and cause this to reduce. So now both of them will have a um, equally reduced relationship. So okay, we've handled those. But now what about the uh, case where we have chain effect? So observers should also be other, like other factions, they should also observe and make a uh, uh, change as well. Now normally that I have it off for just you know normal shooting I don't have chain effect on but for strategic objectives it can be very useful now chain effect is a bit complicated you have to really think about it so just go through this slowly so I've got a comment here other so this is all inside of that 4h the main 4h loop just remember that other observing factions should have their relation with the instigator change so if npc array dot npc faction is not equal to the faction affected and npc array dot npc faction is not equal to faction instigating and apply chain effect so that's an observer so what it's saying is it'll go through this npc array and the and if chain effect is true then it'll immediately find that enemy it doesn't uh, isn't one of those so it is an observer so then this code will run so for each NPC relations, NPC relation in NPC array dot NPC relations, if NPC relation dot NPC tag is faction affected, so within enemy, it will go through, it'll find the friendly, and it's going to now look further. So if NPC relation dot NPC tag is faction affected, I've got a big comment here. If the affected faction is not hostile to this current faction, then adjust this current faction's relation with the instigator in the same way the affected faction's relation changed. So if NPC relation dot NPC faction rating is greater than NPC relations master dot hostile threshold, uh, which won't get Nothing will get triggered here in this particular case because friendly is below the 20, 40 threshold. Well, let's just keep writing the code. So if NPC relation dot NPC faction rating greater than NPC relations master dot hostile threshold, then run another for each loop for each NPC relations NPC rel in NPC array dot NPC relations if NPC rel. So if NPC rel dot NPC tag is faction instigating then npc rel dot npc faction rating plus equal to relation change then call the method edit instigator relation with observer pass in npc array dot npc faction comma faction instigating comma relation change then break and get out of this for each loop i didn't uh, really go into that because it's not the uh, part this case is not relevant in the scenario i'm talking about right now but just write that code now else so if it is a case that it's an enemy so uh, for enemy here the observer to it the affected faction friendly is an enemy so it should behave differently so else here so i've got this else statement for each npc relations npc rel in npc array dot npc relations if npc rel dot npc tag is equal to faction instigating so it's going to now iterate through each of these entries and basically find the instigating faction so we supplied it with the data that player is the instigator is the one who has affected friendly so in the enemy's data set what will happen is player's relation will increase so the way it'll work you'll see the code here so I've said if npc rel dot npc tag is faction instigating, npc rel dot npc faction rating plus equal negative relation change. So if I supplied a negative relation change number, then as you know, that will make that positive. So it'll get added. Edit instigator relation with observer. Pass in npc array dot npc faction comma faction instigating comma minus relation change break. Get out of here. Okay, so what will happen then is if destroying the hut causes a negative 70 value, then because this is a negative relation change, what will happen then is for the observer enemy, 
it'll say that player's relation should increase by 70. So it'll become uh, 95 here. So it will now become an ally with player. Now, that's not finished. Now I need, ob obviously, if the um, observer is changing their relation with player, then player's relation with that observer also needs to change. So that is why I have edit instigator relation with observer. So you can see it's a bit complicated, but that's what needs to happen. So that's why I'm saying edit instigator relation with observer. So we go back into the array and we find the uh, instigator factions entry in that whole big NPC array, which is this one here. And that's the player. And what will then happen is in this method, it'll go through inside of that, the NPC relations, find that particular observing faction, which is enemy, and then it will also update the relation with that enemy and increase the value to 95 as well, we'll add 70 to it as an example. So that's what's happening there. Okay, so we're not done yet. Still a little bit more code to write. So inside of on enable, put in set initial references, call that method, then npc relations master dot event npc relation change plus equal process faction relation. So you can see it finally being used there, subscribe that method to it. Now call these methods fill friendly and enemy tags, set friendly and enemy layers, update NPC relations everywhere. Now this will cause all of this stuff to get calculated and the uh, array will be filled out at the start of the game and transmitted to all of the NPCs who will be listening to it. At the moment, we haven't written a script for the NPCs to listen. We will do that shortly. And finally, in on disable, I'll have the corresponding unsubscribe npc relations master dot event npc relation change minus equal process faction relation. All right, so I'll save that. I'm pretty sure that's all of it. It's a very big script with a lot going on. It is obviously, I mean, after all, it is the npc relations. Um, it's the heart of the dynamic relations system. Anyway, the dynamic factions. This is the script. So going back to the game manager. Let's pro let that process for a moment. Okay, now I can add that on the processor script and I should be able to run it as well. So let me just run that. And there we go. All of the friendly layers, the tags, everything gets now filled out automatically. So very nice. That's very good. So now that this is getting filled out, but it's not getting transmitted to the NPCs yet. So we've still got more work to do in uh, upcoming videos to make sure that that happens and everything follows on. All right, so anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.